Hello, I'm Mary Beth Peel. I am currently doing the Dowager Empress and Anastasia at the Broadhurst Theatre, and I'm here at Broadway.com to play Roll Call. I've been told, you're the one we love to hate. And I've been told, what's it like to work with Chris Knopf? And what's it like to work with Juliana Margulies? What's it like to work with Stalker Channing? What's it like to work with Alan Cumming? It was great working with all of them. Celeste Albert in M. Proust, a beautiful play written by Mary Zimmerman in which I played at least 10 characters, including Marcel Proust, cast of thousands from all of the time-remembered famous novels that he wrote, and Celeste Abere, his 90-year-old housekeeper. In Evil von Hove's version of Hedda Gabler, I was encouraged to manifest whatever I thought Aunt Julia might want to be, whether it's exactly written in the lines or whether it's been traditionally done that way or not. So in this production, as Aunt Julia, I wore a very sexy wraparound leopard skin dress and killer heels and tried to seduce my nephew. I nailed it. This may seem like a strange choice, Later Life, a beautiful, beautiful play by Pete Gurney. It was a breakthrough for me because it was my first straight play in New York. And it changed my life because I turned down replacing the teapot in Beauty and the Beast on Broadway to do an understudy on Off-Broadway. Made me think, maybe I am an actor. The role that I felt sexiest in, Nan Bemis in The Naked Truth, a fantastic play by Paul Rudnick, killer role, in which, at the end, I remove my dress. Yeah. The role that made me feel like a star, notice we say feel like, not be a star, was playing Anna Leon Owens opposite Yul Brynner in The King and I. And the reason it made me feel like a star is because I was directed by the director to act like a star from the first entrance, which meant I was supposed to come on the way Gertrude Lawrence entered, who was a star in the original production. I never did get it, how to make an entrance like a star. But I'm still trying. Probably doing Pinter, any Pinter play is going to be scary for both the actor and the audience because it's so amazingly, intensely, precisely written. And I played Rose, who was one wigged out lady, and it was scary to play someone that scared. I will have to say the role that I know I looked the best in because it was on PBS television 30 some years ago. The role of Alma, beautiful role, gorgeous costumes, beautiful music, and I was 43 years old. Surprisingly enough, after six seasons of Dawson's Creek, um, the role of Graham's I actually would like to do again because I'm now the right age. They used to have to put shoe polish in my hair and draw lines where the wrinkles were and now they don't have to bother, it's all there. This most definitely, I feel, was a role I was born to play, the Dowager Empress in the beautiful new musical, Anastasia. For the last probably 50 years of my life, I have been drawn to and collecting all things Russian. Russian history, Russian music, Russian poetry, Russian literature. So I went into rehearsals for Anastasia with um, having done all the research for the last 50 years. It was thrilling. 
thrilling to be able to play this woman who no one knows really a lot about her as a real life character, but they do know mostly about the famous moment in her life, whether it's true or not, where she had to decide whether the young woman in front of her was really her granddaughter or not. This has been a real trip. It's been great fun. Thanks for watching. And um, speaking of watching, do come see Anastasia at the Broadhurst Theater and see the beautiful costumes and hear the beautiful music and see the role I was feel I was meant to